गुड मॉर्निंग डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू द बायोलॉजी क्लास टुडे वी आर कंटिन्यूइंग सर्कुलेशन एंड इन एनिमल्स इन विच कार्डियक साइकिल ब्लड प्रेशर एंड बायोमेडिकल इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स सच एस स्टेटोस्कोप एंड स्पिक बोमानोमीटर लेट अस स्टार्ट व्हाट इज मीन बाय कार्डियक साइकिल we know that our heart beats 60 times to 72 times per minute the sequence of events occurring from the beginning to the completion of one heart beat is called cardiac cycle our heart during the pumping of blood both atria and ventricles or undergoes contraction and relaxation the sequence of events occurring from the beginning to the completion of one heart beat is called cardiac cycle during the cardiac cycle blood flows through the chambers of heart in a specific direction the flow of blood in a specific direction in heart is regulated by valves in each cardiac cycle is last about 0.8 second the events during a single cardiac cycle which involves one atrial systole two ventricular systole three ventricular diastole systole means contraction diastole means relaxation first atrial systole it is called a contraction of auricles it last about 0.1 second second ventricular systole it's called a contraction of ventricles it is about 0.3 seconds ventricular diastole is called relaxation of ventricles it is about 0.4 seconds so a cardiac cycle which last about 0.8 seconds the next heart sound the rhythmic closer and opening of the valves cause the sound of heart the rhythmic closer and opening of the valves there are three different types of valves in our heart namely tricuspid valve bicuspid valve and semilunar valve during the cardiac cycle the chambers of the heart contracts and relax and heart pumps blood it through the heart chambers in a specific direction regulated by valves the rhythmic closer and opening of the valves in our heart which produces the sound the sound of the heart is lub and d the first sound lub is of longer duration and is produced by the closer of tricuspid and bicuspid valves after the beginning of ventricular systole the next uh, the second sound the second sound is dub sound the second sound is dub is of a yes, shorter duration and produced by the closer of semilunar valves at the end of ventricular systole so at the beginning of ventricular systole at the end of the ventricular systole the opening and the closing of the valves rhythmically produces the sound of heart the lub sound and the dub let us continue the next one blood pressure when the blood is 
flew through a specific direction regulated by the valves the walls of the blood vessels are exerted a force blood pressure is the force exerted during the flow of blood against the lateral walls of arteries the blood pressure is high in the arteries gradually drops in atrioles and the capillaries become very low in veins so the blood pressure is very high in the arteries gradually drops in the atrioles and capillaries and become very low in veins blood pressure is usually measured in the terms of systolic pressure and diastolic pressure blood pressure is usually expressed in the terms of systolic pressure and diastolic pressure let us see what is systolic pressure during ventricular systole the left ventricle contracts and the forces blood into the aorta children you know very well the largest blood vessel is aorta during the ventricular systole the left ventricle of the heart which contracts and pumps maximum amount of the blood into the aorta by a greater force the pressure rises to a peak at this time when the blood is flow through the aorta the pressure is rise to peak which referred as systolic pressure the next is diastolic pressure diastole means relaxation during the diastole the ventricular chambers relaxed the pressure falls when the pressure falls the lowest value of the blood pressure is or lowest value of the force is exerted this lowest value of the pressure which falls during the ventricular diastole is called as diastolic pressure so during the diastolic pressure the pressure exerted on the walls of aorta is less or low in a healthy adult during the normal resting conditions the systolic and diastolic pressure is measured it is about 120 mm bar 80 mm mercury so under the normal physical condition the blood pressure of an blood pressure of an individual is about 120 bar 80 mm mercury blood pressure is varies during the conditions during conditions which differ from such as physical exercises jogging running swimming even slow walking anxiety during emotionally when we are felt stress and sleep the pressure of the blood which is varies sometimes a individual sometimes an individual may felt constant elevation of blood pressure and prolonged or constant elevation of the blood pressure is a condition known as hypertension or high blood pressure this high blood pressure or hypertension can increase the risk of heart attack and stroke sometimes the blood pressure may be decreases the decreased blood pressure is termed as hypotension or low blood pressure dear students now we shall start stethoscope stethoscope 
A stethoscope is used to detect the sound produced by the internal organs of the human body, especially airways, heartbeat, and peristaltic movements in our intestinal tract, in which specific sound produced. Stethoscope. The heart sound is heard by placing a stethoscope on the chest. It's an instrument which helps to hear the sound of heart during the cardiac cycle. The heart sound is heard by placing the stethoscope on the chest. It is a useful diagnostic tool to identify and to localize the health problems such as increased heartbeat rate, sound to produce in the airways during the breathing. The modern electronic stethoscope are highly precise instruments used to detect the abnormal sound produced in the internal organs of the human body. You can see various parts in the stethoscope, a chest piece, a rubber tube, ear piece, ear tube is also there. Stethoscope is very much useful to detect the sound produced by the internal organs. Next, Spigmomanometer. It is the device or instrument used clinically to measure the blood pressure of an individual during a relaxed and resting condition. Spigmomanometer. Spigmomanometer is a clinical instrument used to measure blood pressure when the person is in relaxed resting condition or even in different physical condition. The pressure of the brachial atri is measured. It helps to estimate the state of blood circulation and the working of heart. It helps to diagnose conditions such as increased or decreased blood pressure. Sigma monometer is a clinical instrument which use mercury to find or the measure of blood pressure of an individual in different physical condition. There are some digital modern machines are available. Monometric and modern digital types of apparatus are also used to measure blood pressure. So you can see the monometric blood pressure instrument called a Spigma monometer. It's a conventional type. And also you can see the digital modern digital blood pressure instrument. Modern digital blood pressure instrument precisely calculate or precisely measure the blood pressure of an individual. Dear students, you would understand clearly about cardiac cycle, heart sound, blood pressure and uh, clinically useful instruments such as Spigma monometer and stethoscope. We will see in next class in detail about blood groups, RH factor and lymphatic system. Thank you.